Hello and uh, welcome to the third tutorial in the series for how to make a game on UDK. This is me, Corporal Lork, and today I'm going to show you how to put Sky onto your map. So, first let's go to File, Open, and let's open DM First Map, which is what I've been making throughout the tutorial. You can close this. Now, as you can see, uh, you don't want your sky to just be a big black void. So all we need to do is add a static mesh called a sky dome. Now, sky domes are either pre-made or you can make them yourself using like so something like Photoshop or GIMP. And you can also just use the static mesh dome and add materials to that. But we can do that. You can do that yourself uh, when you get the hang of this. So first, you want to open your content browser. Then, as you see here, I've already searched into Sky. So if you search Sky into here, you get all these different uh, things for the Sky. And you get things like textures, materials, and static meshes. But what I'm going to choose is I'm going to go for this static mesh. For I don't want to add more to these Sky Spheres or Sky Dome. Yeah, you can either search Sky Sphere or Sky Dome for these meshes, but it doesn't matter too much. So generally the same. But anyway, let's choose S U N Sky S M Sky Dome 03. Click it, then right click it. I'm going to save it, but you don't think it, I don't think you have to save it since if you if you need if you need to fully load it, make sure to always fully load uh, things. But I'll right click. No, sorry, select static, the static mesh, right click, add static mesh, uh, UN Sky SM mesh, SM, um, that. Then you should have added it. Now, if you close Content Browser, click on this window, you should see that you have your Sky Dome, which is this big blue thing. Now, you want to select it, and we want to move it down, move it along. And we should be seeing our sky dome. But first, what you need to do is you need to go on to enable game view. And this allows you to see the sky dome. This is what your player will see in the game. Now, you might notice that if the player gets to the edge of the map, they'll be able to see completely into the void. That's why uh, you can put uh sort of natural barriers such as mountains and dense forests around the edges to stop the player from going off but I will come to that at a later date. Okay, so now you have your sky dome and that's pretty much all you have to do. So again all what we need to do is you need to go to build geometry I think to add the static mesh. You need to go and build lighting and don't use light mass since we haven't got an important volume close as you can see we have all this area is dark because the static mesh of the sky resets the lighting so unset game mode and we're going to unlit just get this light and change it its size and if you go to game view and then put on lit unlit now, sh we should now be able to, since we've adjusted the size radius of that light, be able to play the game. So first, remember to save, save as, save the sky and the map, save selected. Now, if you just play in viewport, you have your map, the building, and now, play the sky. Now you can always add your own, you can make the, your own uh, skies using uh, using picture editors such as GIMP or Photoshop. I use GIMP since it's free and open source. But whatever um, picture editor you prefer, you can use to just create a TGA of some sort uh, to create a material you can apply to one of these sky dome static meshes. So yeah, this is the probably one of the shortest 
this is probably one of the shortest tutorials I'm doing. Uh, but it adding the sky dome is very important for it adds a lot to the game itself. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and yes, I'm um, keeping uh, keep uh, keep your eyes peeled. Watch your space for the new tutorial for the more tutorials coming up. Uh, next, I think I will be adding importance volume so we can add light mass. Okay then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.